Hello, my name is Mark. In this segment, we're going to cover how to convert a gasoline engine to run on alcohol. Um, first, I'm going to briefly uh, uh, let you know the differences between gasoline and alcohol, and that will give us a better understanding of what we need to change and why. Um, the stoichiometric fuel mixture ratio for a gasoline engine, or the optimal ratio for the air fuel mixture ratio, is 14.7 to 1 for gasoline. And that's approximately about 9 to 1 for alcohol. The second thing is that alcohol is much denser or heavier than gasoline. Um, the third item that has to be addressed is alcohol burns much slower or cooler than gasoline. Um, on today's computer controlled vehicles, because the computer system controls the fuel distribution, it also controls our spark timing, um, the computer can basically make the swap for us. There's many different aftermarket companies that are offering um, computer interchanges that allow you to either change the computer module itself or put an adapter between the wiring harness and the computer that will reprogram it so it will run correctly or efficiently on gasoline. You might need to change your spark plugs and drop them to a heat range or two hotter so you get a better combustion. Uh, also gasoline and alcohol don't mix well uh, unless the alcohol is almost completely water free. So generally when the swap is made, you'll need to drain your system of gasoline prior to filling it with alcohol. But for a fuel injected vehicle, the newer type vehicles, uh, they have many of them that are already out and available, the flex fuel vehicles, and there's also many different companies that provide various kits that you can easily convert these over. On a carbureted vehicle, however, you're going to need to make a few more changes in order for it to run correctly. Um, the first change is the jet size in the carburetor is going to need to be changed. Whatever your main metering jets are, they're going to need to be enlarged by about 40%. The second problem is uh, the alcohol being denser than gasoline is heavier, so we're going to need to add some weight to the fuel float. You'll need to weigh the float in the carburetor and add about 10% of the original weight of the float to it to correctly compensate for uh, the extra density in the alcohol, and that will ensure that your fuel bowl stays full, and ignition timing. We're going to want to crank up the ignition timing by about 20 to 25 degrees. And please remember, these are all just rough settings for an initial fire up, and they should allow just about any gasoline engine to run up, to fire up and run safely, um, so you can dial them in. This is just a ballpark figure to get you going. And the last thing you'll need to do is change the spark plugs. You'll want to go up one or two heat ranges hotter. And these are all just base line figures. Do some research on your vehicle and you should be able to get all the adequate information you need to know so you can correctly dial that in. Just remember drain the fuel system prior to switching over to alcohol. That's how you convert a gasoline engine to run on alcohol.